Good morning, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do your own fluke rig. I'm also gonna be showing you how to tie the line to the hook. There's gonna be two different ways I'm gonna show you. Uh, one is gonna be with the tool, and the other one's gonna be without the tool. All right, so I'm gonna show you all the stuff that you're gonna need. All right, first, you're gonna need uh, 50, pound, 50 pound of floral carbon and you're gonna need at least between three to five feet of that. You're gonna need uh, some color tubings. That's the company that uh, I order these from. It's uh, Methcraft, and that's the size of the tubing right there. And you can get it in different colors. Uh, the, the colors that are very uh, productive are the green and pink. All right. Also, you're gonna need some Colorado uh, flashers. This one's a size uh, four. Okay. You're gonna need some clevis. Uh, I get these from River uh, Guide, and um, the sizes that I normally use is two and four. You're also going to need some three-way swivel. I get this from Thunder Myths, and um, it's a good company. It works really good. You're also going to need a snap clip for your sinker, uh, the large one. You're also going to need some uh, skirts uh, with flasher and without flasher. And they come in different colors. And this is without the flash. You're also going to need uh, some beads. This pink bead here is uh, six millimeter. And you're going to need some glow beads. That's uh, eight by five. And this is the tool that you're going to need. But if you don't have that tool, I'm going to show you how to do it without the tool. And also you're going to need some hooks. I normally use uh, size 4 and 5. Now once the uh, rig is completed, uh, you could dress it off with some otter tail or squid uh, strips. And um, that works really, really good. All right, so the finished product is gonna look like this. And there's many ways to uh, fish this rig. Uh, you could put it on a dead stick and drift, or you could just keep it in your hand while you're drifting and just wait for the bite and set the hook. All right, so let's begin. I'm gonna show you first how to do the, uh, the knot. So you're going to need between three to five feet of, uh, of floral carbon. All right, so first I'm going to show you how to do it with the tool. All right, so you're going to put the, the hook on the tool right on top. You're going to take the line feed it into the eye of the hook and then this has like a little uh, tab there you're gonna put it right on the tab now I've used this so many times that that tab doesn't want to hold it anymore so I'm gonna try my best to show you all right so you see it how is this pinch then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it around six times. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six.
All right, so once you have it, once you have it, six the six wrap, you're gonna take the, your tag and you're gonna put it into the tube, the metal tube of the uh, of the tool, and it's gonna come out through a slot over here. And then you're gonna take it, you're gonna take that and put it on the other side of the uh, of the of the tool. Then you're gonna pinch everything here with the thumb. You're gonna slide the tool off. Pull this all at the same time. So you're gonna pull this tag, you're gonna put this tag, and you're gonna get a perfect sn snail knot right there every single time. All right, so now I'm gonna cut the, uh, the tag off. And that's the, uh, the tie on the on the hook. All right, so now I'm going to show you without. Now I'm going to show you without the uh, the tool. All right, so. You're going to take your hook and you're going to take the line, you're going to put it through the eye of the hook and you're going to pull about that much. And then you want to take your, your, other, your other extension of your line, you want to bring it down and you want to do like a nest. Once you bring it down, you pinch it, you want to bring it up again like that. And then you want to wrap it six times. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you wrap it six times, you want to take your the other end of the of the line, and you want to put it through the eye of the hook. And then you're going to pull it, pull it, feed it all the way out. And once you do that, you're gonna hold everything with your right hand, pull everything real fast. And it's gonna do the same snail tie down, perfect. All right, and now you're just gonna cut the excessive. All right, so now we're gonna start building the, uh, the rig. All right, so now that you have your hook tied to your fluorocarbon, first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your skirt and you're just going to want to feed it in from the inside. So now you have the uh, skirt there. The next thing you want to do is you want to take your six millimeter pink bead. You want to feed it through the line. You want to take your uh, eight by f eight by five uh, glow bead. You want to feed it in through the line. You want to take another six millimeter pink bead and you want to feed it through the line. So you're pretty much building it up really nice. And then once you have your three beads, you want to take your uh, tube, your color tubing, and you're going to feed it. This is like about an inch and a half or two inch. It's pretty good. Once you have your uh, tubing, you want to take another uh, pink bead and feed it through the line. You want to take one more glow bead and feed it in. You're slowly building it up nice. This is this is a deadly uh, rig. And one more pink glow bead, I mean, one more pink bead. It's 
So now once you have your three beads there, your tubing and your other three beads there, now you want to take your Colorado flash, uh, your Colorado blade and the cleavers and you want to put it on the line. So you want to make sure that you start from the bottom going in the cleavers. So the flash is facing down like that. Okay. Now once you have right there you have the whole the whole rig complete pretty much. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to attach your three your three ways swivel. Okay. And this one you're just gonna put it like right in the middle. And this is just a regular knot. So I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick. So once you have it, you're gonna just twist this three times, uh, between four or five times. So one, two, three, four. And then you're gonna bring it through that loop then once you bring it through that loop, you're going to bring it through that loop again, pull, and you're going to moist it, and pull it. Okay. Now once you have it, you're going to cut the excessive. And now you're going to take your snap ring. And you're going to feed it through the bottom one. So now your main line will go right here. And there you have it. Okay. That's your fluke rig. All right. Now, like I said in the beginning, you could dress it with uh, different baits. Uh, so you could use squid strips, or you could use this, uh, the otter tail. And um, just put it through the hook. And when you're drifting, and the fluke sees this, they go crazy they you definitely if you have it on a uh, dead uh, dead stick they'll pretty much hook themselves i mean it's happened to me a lot of time all right so there you have it the uh, food rig all right thank you for watching and if you like this video make sure you hit like and don't forget to hit subscribe Thank you.